Hello, everyone. Welcome to Trail Talk. We are here in the uh, studio, uh, classroom studio at the Chisholm Trail Heritage Center in Duncan, Oklahoma. And we have a very special guest with us today. This is Jolene Lloyd Forbes. Jolene, welcome to Trail Talk. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. I am so glad that you're here. So, uh, Jolene, well, uh, let me just ask you, um, are you from this area? Uh, okay, where are you from? No and yes. Okay. <laughs> My married life has been in the Duncan Marlowe area, but I grew up in Oklahoma City. Um, went to school there mm -hmm. and then went to Touche for my art work and like university, you went USAO. To, you went to USAO in Chickasha. I had four very talented professors uh -huh. that were there at the time. Right. Well, they've, I think they've had their art department is, has always been probably one of at the, the top. top. Yeah. Because I checked out OU and I checked out Cameron because they were closed mm -hmm. and I chose USAO, USAO. for okay. what they had to offer right. at the time. And then you met your husband and came to Duncan is my first husband. Oh, okay. Uh, I have relatives in Rush Springs. He had relatives in Rush Springs. Uh -huh. We were married 37 years before he passed. And then I remarried Butch Forbes uh -huh. and his wife was here. Okay. Right? And uh, so it's been another 17 years with a, another life. Another <laughs> life. <laughs> and, but you have been an artist throughout. Yes. So, basically. And so um, would you call yourself a professional artist? I mean, is that? I don't know how you get the name professional because nowadays YouTube and everything, you don't have to go to college. So there's so many ways to learn to be an artist and I was always told that if you saw one piece you were professional oh well I like that that's so <laughs> why not <laughs> why not but have you always um, produced art and probably, taken it to shows or galleries to sell probably before uh, or after my husband passed away mm -hmm. and my son passed away that I just jumped into it okay nothing else matters right you know you sink into it you don't lose or, or you don't you lose yourself in it right right so, so did you have a gallery at your house or no i just came in and help people um decorate their houses or, so you would customize or what is that whenever someone uh commission okay yes they come you commission did yes. commission pieces but i did arts and crafts before this and so it just kind of evolved into real art. So when you were when you were young, did was that something that you would, you thought, oh, this I want to be an artist when I grow up, kind of thing? Um, I was always a doodler, mm -hmm. always drawing on paper, and my uncle ended up giving me the name Doodle. No, oh. <laughs> because you always did that. That's funny. That's a great story. <laughs> well, um, so. You said you painted, but the things that you brought with you today um, are not, I mean, you brought some paintings, but you brought some other things too. Ha did you start out primarily with painting and then you started doing I, things with other mediums or kind of how did, how did your art evolve? I did. Um, at USAO, we had a wide variety of different types of things mm -hmm. that we could work with. So watercolor, photography, clay, stained glass. So it was just a wide variety that we could experiment with. Mm -hmm. And then after we got out of college, we chose different things to do. And, and along the way, I found different things to do. Like this is uh, called encaustic wax. And this is pants on the ground. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> the name of that one. And this is a rose done also in the wax. And, and so and it's a heated product that you draw and you make your design on it. And uh -huh. then it goes to a hard uh, surface, turns into a hard wax because it has the mar varnish in it. And you can polish it, make it shine, uh -huh. or you can leave it in a matte form. Right. And so 
Um, this one under glass, has it been, does it have a shiny? You can't do anything it? unless you take it apart, make it shine. But well, I mean, did you, is this one shiny and this one matte? No, or they're both it's just, oh, okay. But I can show you how you can, um, let's do a little spot here with my finger. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Can you see how that? That is unbelievable. That just how it yes. changes. So if you're a shiny person, you shine it. And if you're a dull person. <laughs> <laughs> no offense dull people if you prefer this, but. Uh, but it just, it depends on the painting. So is this, is this layered? Is that it how the be layered? How did you make the different colors? And uh, the wax had, is diff, comes in different colors. So okay. you just draw your design with your wax and you okay. may use one color, you may use five. I've done pieces that are like 24 by 24 and most of it's say blue. And then I've dropped um, pine cone needles or pine needles in it right. to give it a different texture. So right. you just actual you pine needles. Pine can, needles. So you can add other things to, this. to it. You can add oh. lace, you can add uh, beads. You could, it, it's just using your mind to be creative right. how you want to. What a fun medium. I'm not familiar with this. Caustic wax. In is that caustic. In caustic in wax. In caustic wax. Wow. That is, a, that is so cool. I really love that. So I'll be teaching that. Oh, you're going to, you teach it. I'm going to be teaching that later. Once I get, or I've only been open like a month, so I'm still working on classes. Okay. How to go about incorporating those okay. into your business? Yeah, let's talk about that really fast. So, um, your your business, you have a business in Marlow, a, an art gallery mm -hmm. called Jolene's Art Den, uh -huh. but it was it's also AKA Paseo Arts. What? Paseo Artworks. Paseo Artworks. Okay, I knew it was something like that. Because you were originally in the Paseo District in Oklahoma City, yes. but you just recently moved and set put your art gallery in Marlow, yes. and you've been open a month. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing a lot of you haven't been there yet, so you need to go check it out. <laughs> this is this is awesome. I've owned the building for about 25, 30 years, and I taught classes before I had the gallery in Oklahoma City. Okay. So it was just a teaching studio and trying to revamp it to a gallery gift store. Mm -hmm. was, it's been kind of hard. But, I bet that took some time. So, but... I had 17 artists in Oklahoma City, and all of them moved with me down wow. to Marlow. Wow. So I'm excited about that. And that's why I put the AK8 Paseo Artworks, just to kind of draw some of the people. And I've already had people from Oklahoma City and Paul's Valley uh, come over and see us. Really? So, um, wow. So to me, that says that Jolene runs a really great gallery that artists and and customers both loved to visit so yeah I, I, that is very exciting I think so um so the the things you brought today you brought examples of your own art but also the art of some of the artists who uh, put their pieces in your gallery right um I do this fuse glass also and I'll be teaching that along the way too as soon as I get my kill hooked up but it's another pattern. So it's this lady and then. Yes. And like, okay. these are pieces. This is all glass. So, and it's pieces that are layered on, on top of each other. This is dichroic glass, which is a shiny, more expensive glass. But you just make your own design. And, and I'm off the wall on the glass. <laughs> uh, paintings are harder and structured. <laughs> this I can play with <laughs> and have fun. And, and fun, exactly. I mean, I think this gal right here is very fun. I, she is just... I do larger girls that, that stand up also that are four or five foot tall. Some hang on the wall. And it's just amazing. And then you have your scraps that are left over and can make the bowls and, uh -huh. and the 
And the picture things. And then I and is this fish also uh -huh. that the glass? The fused glass. The fused glass. So how cute is that? If you have a fisherman um around that yes. all of the by the way, all the things that Jolene brought today are for sale yes. in your uh, in the shop. In the shop. And what is the address? We'll put 210 it Maine, Marla, Oklahoma. Okay, 210 Maine. We'll put that in the comments of the uh the necklaces are also fused glass that are oh, right okay. here. These three uh -huh. here. The one below is clay, silver clay. It's this uh, one here carved. She's carved her her subject to add a a, a piece a stone. Uh huh. I can't I can't remember what the name of the stone is, but uh, she's carved her uh, piece to add that stone. But Very it's ninety nine point nine silver clay that she's used. Interesting. I've never heard of silver clay. I know that's why my gallery is special. So what, I try to add things that people are not familiar with uh -huh. that they can come and learn about. So what is silver clay? It's just a little. <clears throat> it's kind of like clay, mm -hmm. but it's a ball of silver, and she and it's just the the consistency of consistent. clay. Uh -huh. So she uh, then I also have um, Sarah has, does the uh, little animals there. Um, oh, before we go further, okay. okay, are these necklaces yours? Or yes, okay, the glass, Necklace, the glass ones are, but that is uh, Janet Getz, okay, Janet Getz, and then uh, this Sarah, okay, does, Sarah, oh gosh. Oh, face so, face so. Um, does the little and they're raccoon. The they're also raccoon. She does them in the clay, uh -huh. and then once they dry and they're fired to the bisque, and she paints them, then they go to, to the raccoon fire firing, which is done totally different than a regular kill. kill. Uh huh. Uh huh. And uh, I have about. 20 of those in the shop, but they're selling really good. So what, what does the second firing do? It turns the dark. Mm -hmm. Let me okay. pick this up. Okay. You know, when you can catch the um, sheen the to this, uh -huh, the sheen. and it will turn yellow, red, may turn turquoise. Kind of an iridescent. It, it changes type. colors, uh -huh. the, the raccoon firing causes it to change. Wow. Do you have to put anything on? It's the glaze. That you put the glaze and the then glaze that, that firing that makes okay. it like that. Wow. That is, those are very cute. And are they all armadillos or does she? No, no two alike. Oh, yeah. There no you go. Alike. Get yourself a very unique piece. You do. One of a kind. Uh -huh. It's kind of like a painting. She does them all different. Um, the metal cat is Kenny McCage, and he does a lot of um, yard art, bird bass, things that move. I have some waves mm -hmm. that you can put in the yard and they'll move. And then he also helps me with my structures. He does, the, he does the metal work. He does the metal work. Your, I okay. draw out something and sometimes it's kind of like I like it. I mean, like I draw it, uh -huh. and then sometimes he puts his spin on it, which is fine. Right, right. <laughs> We're collaborating. Right. And well, you know, as it, as it comes out and you love it, then. Yeah. And That's great. So we've, we've been working together about five years. Um, How long did you have the uh, gallery in Paseo? Almost eight years. Okay. All right. So you're seasoned at this sort of. uh, art gallery. Thing. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I think it sounds like you may know what you're doing. And this is um, White Antelope. She uh, does the horsehair uh, pottery. And uh, she also did, does, the jewel, does some jewelry, beading and beading. Uh -huh. So her work is really unique with the horsehair, which is, I don't think there's many places in this area that has the horsehair. Um, horsehair pottery? Is that what you said? Uh -huh. When she takes the pottery out of the kill, she'll hit it with the horsehair. And oh. then it turns black. And uh, um, 
will make a design all of its own. Oh, wow. Because it burns onto oh. them. This is um, Michael Davison. He's uh, been with me probably the longest seven years. In We're the familiar galleries. with Michael and his work <laughs> around here. We have some of his. He lives. <laughs> yeah, it's here in Jackson. So this is kind of one of his newer pieces that he had brought to me. And I have some wooden hearts. And I have the Indian statues. His, his um, uh, sculptures like this are very whimsical to yes. me, the, the way he puts them together. But you have the the um, chainsaw. The, the, those are the Indian. The Indian. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the saints. And oh, then, right. Yeah. Yes, he does the saints. And he's brought me a, some little people. <laughs> yes, he has those little people. He has the are, little people. <laughs> that are very funny. Yeah. And so my gallery is a fun gallery. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to be just structured, you know, walk in and walk around the wall and say, oh, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Yes. You know, I want you to come in and smile and be happy and, and see something that you've not seen before. Oh, I haven't stopped smiling since I walked in <laughs> and saw all these things that you brought because I, I just, I love it all so much. It's, it is very fun. Then we have just the unique little um, gifts we don't want you to think we're just all about painting and art. We want you to come in and buy gifts and, mm -hmm. and enjoy the art too. So we have handmade uh, cup towels and uh, I have soaps and lotions um, besides all the artists. The painting that's beside you. Yeah, let's come over here and look at your uh, paintings. That is uh, Scott, there's a, we've got kind of a glare going on this one. There we go. There we go. That's called a clay slip painting. You use clay slip. So, and what is clay slip? Um, you take your your clay and you slurp it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds messy. <laughs> it is kind of messy, but it you just have some little bowls sitting around and you put your different colors in it. And then you have a board that has a solid piece of clay and you make your design on this. And then you print it on fabric remake. Like you're dipping in your collars uh -huh. is kind of a heavy material. Okay. So then I, it's a hand printed process that I do. And I, so you have the clay and the paint. And so do you press the fabric? I lay the fabric on top and then I do the, I take a spoon or a roller and, and kind of dampen it so uh -huh. that that paint it, will lift it up lifts into the to fabric. The, to the fabric. Okay. And you get it, make sure you've got it all, uh -huh. all done. And, uh, okay. So that's something okay, that's not in this can, area. Yeah, I can see either. the texture um, on that now. You can that's let exactly. some of it dry if you want, or you can make it smooth. Mm -hmm. And then once it's done, once you've done your, um, your printing, you can do a ghost painting, but those are usually not very good. And that's a second print. That's called a, oh, a ghost. Okay. Uh -huh. So once that's done and you let it dry, I just throw it in a bucket, I repurpose it, do another. Use another the same paint. clay. Use the same clay over and over. So the once it dries, then the the colors just go back, go into the clay and then smush it back in. Smush it back in. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like my kind of thing. <laughs> Let's smush and push. And... It's, it's a fun process also uh -huh. that, that you could do, but it's kind of reverse. Right. You know, right. because you'll be doing it this way, then you'll when it's printed, it, it'll reverse. Well, I'm I'm thinking like this cross is is very precise on here and in my mind it everything is kind of loose on the clay but that's not the case i guess well i had a cross and i put paint on the cross oh so then i oh, ma okay. mashed it onto the clay so that paint that was on the cross came up and then the, onto the clay and the clay held those held the edges paint. Sell that paint. very nice that is that is very cool now a class on this i might I'm sign gonna, up for that <laughs> i think that I'm would gonna, be i'm, I'm going to do fun. try to do that uh -huh. uh, this next thursday um 
Dana Myers will be doing thread painting and it is um, done with different types of fabrics, threads, beads, wire, and you could either frame them. She's going to do a um, hummingbird mm -hmm. and she's it's $50 for the class and it provides all the uh, materials that you're going to need. And all you have to do is bring a pair of scissors. Hmm. So um, I'm excited about that. She's done a lot of hers and pillows. So once your product's done, then you just kind of whip it onto a, a pillow right. or you can do it on a, a painting. Uh, I mean, put it in a, in a frame. frame. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Huh. So I'm excited to see how she does this because I've not seen it. Right. The, all of these uh, mediums and uh, styles of art that you're describing are just all so unique. Um, I have a feeling that your classes, I mean, should be. And are these like novice classes? Is this a class Every, that, that anybody we, can do? I'm pointing to myself. <laughs> <laughs> novice right here. I'm even going to have like a, a bow making class. Oh, you, if you bring three different types of um, ribbon, ribbon that you want to do, then I'll have a piece of something that you can put your bows on and we'll make a fairy garden or something, mm -hmm. you know. Right. So it'll be, there'll be some craft. <laughs> some crafting, but and, some other. And like you're, you said this, the pressed glass class. Now, is that something that someone who's not experienced can do mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. I, you can make yourself some coasters. Uh -huh. You just you just need to learn how to run the knife straight. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe my coasters would have little some of my coasters what, are crazy <laughs> edges on them. I don't know. So I, it takes two layers of glass mm -hmm. to make it where it won't dog bone. Right. Because if it if you don't have two clip two, it'll it'll swirl in. Huh. Because it's so a temperature. Whenever, whenever it heats, whenever it's hot heat in the kiln. Oh, okay. okay. Like shrinky dinks, too. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm kind of a professional shrinky dink <laughs> artist, but aside from that. <laughs> oh, hey, let's talk about the, before we get over there to your other paintings, let's this, talk about these two pieces that you brought. Okay. This is another class. I, I won't be teaching this. Okay. Um, this is hard. Uh -huh. This might not okay, be. Okay, all right. This is not for me. <laughs> no, it's so. not hard. But it's called alcohol ink, and then she has put the resin on top of it. Okay. So Kim Harrison, and uh, we're trying to set that up maybe for September. Mm -hmm. And so she'll come down. She's the best that I've ever seen do the alcohol ink, as you can see all the intricacies that are on this. Mm -hmm. So... Um, <clears throat> I'm it's, excited for it's, her. That's a show. very beautiful, very beautiful piece. Um, and it, so you said the class on uh, that you're going to be doing. Uh, which one? Which one of these styles did you say the fifty dollar? That will be next Wednesday from one to four. Okay, and uh, on uh, the next day, Thursday, mm -hmm. six to eight. Is that one class? It's one class. That you meet, you need to come twice to finish. Well, no, you should finish on on Wednesday. Uh huh. And then you can maybe get real close on, on, on a second one. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. So that's a two day. That's event. a two that's, different day. So um, when people want to find out about your classes, what would the best way, what would be the best way to do that? Go on Facebook, Jolene's Art Dan or call me, okay, which my number will be on there too. Okay, right. And um, that would be, okay, those would be the best ways to uh -huh. find out. You okay, text, text me, you mm -hmm. know, right. Number, she does, so. she answered her test, that text, yes. I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he texted me early. Yeah, tell us about the ledger art over here. This is uh, called ledger art. This is by Dylan Cabin. He's been with me about five or six years and you're getting two for one on this you have an original piece of art and it's on an old uh this, document yeah that looks like it's a, on an old a, a ledger page this is from... 1954 but i have some checks and different things that are like 1907 um the p has done a so i was telling you we have a, a large dylan cabin in the garris gallery 
uh, Western art here at the Heritage Center. And um, it's, I was, it's called Buffalo on an Antique Oklahoma Map. Yes. And it's, yes. it's law, it's very big, uh, you know, more than twice that big. it's probably a, uh, um, one of the old maps. Mm -hmm. yeah. It, oh yeah, it says antique Oklahoma map. So I'm trying to think what they're called. Uh, um, I can't think what but I we've we've talked about ledger art before on uh, Trail Talk. Brent Learned is uh, another yes. artist who yes. does ledger art, and he was uh, here when we first started doing Trail Talk, and then uh, we did another. Um, lesson just on ledger art with another uh, a young woman who worked here she kind of helped us do a little ledger art and it is an, it is a, an indian or native way of doing their art oh the the history behind it about so right, the, the prisoners in florida um creating the that art form and being able to sell them, sell it for money and the whole thing. It's, you You should you should look up the history of ledger art. It is because they really didn't have anything to paint on. Mm -hmm. So the white man would just throw their papers away, but yet the Indians would like to draw on them. So mm -hmm. that was a very, and that, yes. Yeah, so it's a freaking way historical, for them to, It's a great historical, way to preserve that part of Native American history and to just create these beautiful art pieces too. So you have several Dylan cabins. One of the uh, stories I can tell about uh, Dylan is that a lady was retiring from one of the banks in Oklahoma City and she had worked there since uh, 1946. They found a check 1946 and she was retiring. So uh, he did a, a a painting, I think it was a hummingbird. Oh, that he put on, on her that check, check. And, oh. and they gave that to her for her retirement. Wow. So she got a what? nice retirement. What a great <laughs> that is a great retirement gift. My goodness, how wonderful is that? Yeah. That's awesome. Um, well, Jolene, let's now let's look, look at your paintings. <laughs> Why don't you uh, let's step over here where we can kind of uh, talk about those. Well, this, these are two of my latest paintings here and they're oils. I started out with oils. Don't you? Yeah, let's go to this one first right here. Oh, okay, oils. <laughs> I started okay. out with oils. Acrylics, I do a little bit of abstract painting mm -hmm. with. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm not a talented draw person <laughs> okay so i can fix it with oil <laughs> <laughs> acrylic is a little bit harder to fix it right you know if you make a mistake on your drawings right and so i'm one of those that needs to keep working on my drawing and you know and it's okay that's i find i always think that that's so that's that is a common thread among artists is that they're always trying to try new mm -hmm. things and working on their skills, the, the, even their basic skills. I mean, drawing was one of the things you did from the very beginning, even as a child. Yes. But you feel like you still need to work and improve those things. So I, I love that thing that's in an artist to want to stretch themselves or make themselves better. Right. I, I find that to be a great thing. And the other one, I went to one of the, I still call it the Cowboy Hall of Fame. I know it has a new name, but Cowboy uh, and Western Heritage Museum. I believe so. I think that's what it is. I had gone to what uh, up there, and I I believe it was uh, Browning that was doing the demonstration, and and they told us we could take a picture, and so he was painting that, but I took the picture and brought it home to paint, I and know. I had somebody come in the gallery, and they said. Oh, that's so and so. I'm going to tell him that's here. <laughs> that's awesome. So that was kind of fun that somebody uh -huh. did recognize him that I got a little bit close. Right. Exactly. You know? um, so, so you did this one from a photograph. What about the landscape? Was that also photograph. a photograph? Is that someplace that you visited, or uh, a lot of times it is because it's easier to paint something you've seen mm -hmm. because if you haven't seen it, it's to me, it's harder. 
And I've traveled with uh, Kay Franklin, is uh, who I have studied under a lot. Mm -hmm. And we've gone to Guatemala. We've gone to um, Italy, uh, just several different countries there uh -huh. that we uh, go and paint, Colorado. Wow. Uh, and Tinley, I need to mention the young lady. I think this one right that, here. That little beaded necklace Yes. There. This, I, I'm strictly, I say strictly, an Oklahoma artist gallery. Right. I try to promote Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. But this lady was our tour guide down in Tinley. Uh, in Canyon de Shea. Uh -huh. in, in Guatemala? That, no, in, in Arizona. Oh, in Arizona. Okay. So yes. they have been shut down for, you know, so long. And I'm not sure that they're still open. Mm -hmm. So I kind of fudged a little bit and had her send me some jewelry. And, well, I and think to help them. <laughs> I'm sure no one, no so, one minds that. Oh, we, we also... Let me breach this little bracelet here. That's one of hers. Is that hers also? That's this one of hers. Bracelet also. is so pretty. Look at that. What a beautiful little turquoise and silver bracelet. And I have some Very other artists nice. I'd like to well, really just a second. Okay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Very pretty. Super pretty. Mm -hmm. I have some other artists I'd like to recognize too. Cletus Smith is probably in his 80s mm -hmm. and he's painted forever. Uh, he does traditional art. Paul Walsh uh, does landscapes, is a retired uh, uh, school teacher. Dennis Smith uh, just popped in after I got my new store open and said, can you use this? And his is a acrylic painting, but it's kind of on the style of this. Oh, okay. so it's totally different. All uh -huh. my artists, even though uh, Michael and I and Dylan, we all went to USAO, mm -hmm. we all paint do totally different right. Is it that, styles. I love all of that. I love that. And then of course, Michael does the wood mm -hmm. and the minis and he has the new style. Uh, Western mm -hmm. that he's doing the houses and things. And then Patty Kathy and Debbie Duber were my photographers that okay. I have in the gallery. Right. And of course, Kenny does the metal. Josh Conway has a new store also. He's been there about a year. By the way, shout out to Josh Conway who's watching by Zoom. Yay. Thanks for joining <laughs> us there, man. I have, some, I have some of his um, pottery, drone mm -hmm. pottery that mm -hmm. he's doing. So um, then Kim does the alcohol ink. Sheila Minnick is a talented lady. She paints on wood, canvas, gourds. I uh, have a nice, beautiful gourd about this big that she's done a painting on. Wow. And she also teaches, which she may come down and do some uh, uh, teaching uh -huh. a class. Jim Fothery, he was, uh, a Duncanite okay. for years, uh -huh. and I'm not sure whether he had a show at here or not. I don't know. Uh, but he does textural uh, paintings. They're thick and uh, colorful abstracts. Mm -hmm. Thomas Dotz does a lot of texture, and it has um, landscapes of maybe Santa Fe and, and the old barns. And then I have a boutique. Oh, you gotta, okay. gotta get that in there. Right. <laughs> And it, I have uh, some light covers, purses, scarves, uh, t-shirts by uh, Planet Dorshek and Tori's uh, Creation. So it's just, I'm just an eclectic collection of art. And one stop shopping is what it sounds like <laughs> to me. <laughs> um, I, I just, I think there's one more. Is this one of yours? That's one of mine. Here? Okay. Uh -huh. And is this also an oil? That's an oil. Okay. Um, I didn't want to miss that one. So, um, Jolene, I, uh, I, I think everyone has seen just a, such a great variety of art. And, and I love how um, it's, it seems like your store maybe has something for everyone you know all different tastes and thank you for bringing something of this um artistic uh i don't know just 
excellence. It's an to, eclectic collection. <laughs> well, but, but like bringing these these great pieces to Stevens County. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that people are, are going to really love being able to come to your shop so close to where we live and find something really extraordinary for our homes as a gift. I mean, I, I thank you so much. I mean, I know probably Paseo was a dream. It was. <laughs> because being up there, you know, among all of the other art galleries and artists, just what a great place to uh, all that energy and everything. Yes. But um, I just think that what you've done by bringing it back here, regardless of the circumstances, is going to really benefit our neck of the woods. I hope so. I, yes, I, I, hope so. I think it will. Um, guys, go to Jolene's Art Den, 210 Main, right? Is that, um, whenever it would you- would be to the east of Highway 81. Okay, to the east of Highway 81. So go and uh, check out what she's got there. Um, as you can see, a number of different artists, um, a number of different styles. Look for those classes. I just. I just think this is going to be really fun having you here. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. Um, so we'll have all of her information in the comments section. Before I get off here, uh, I want to remind everyone at 430 in just a, an hour or so, we're going to be kicking off a, a reception for our featured artist for the next few months, Joe Don Brave. And um, his art is uh, in our gallery. And so we want to welcome you to just, or invite you to join us from 4.30 to 6.30. It's free. You can meet the artist, see his pieces, and it'll be a lot of fun. We, we have some refreshments, if, <laughs> if that's an, an enticement for you. <laughs> um, so uh, Jolene, I think that's a wrap. Thank on you. this episode. Thank you for inviting me and letting me share. You're very welcome. We look forward to uh, hearing all about the great things that your store does, the success you have over there. So uh, when it's time to uh, sign off, we say happy trails together. All right. Yeah. So you ready? Yeah. All right. Well, let's say it then. Happy, happy trails. trails. Bye-bye.